Peace. So here's a drawing on death. People ask me about death and um, what's my idea of it and what do I think about it and so on and so forth. So I'm going to give you my draw on what death is. First of all, we understand death from the perspective of when the body, the brain stops working, the heart stops working, so on and so forth. The body is no more. That's called death. The person dies. But the reality is, is that there's no such thing as death. Um, and there's a finite thought process built on death that comes directly from the ideology of organized religion um, that separates the reality of what death is from the reality of what death is not. First of all, symbolically, there are many forms of death. You understand? There's the physical death that we call death. Then you have a mental death. Then you have spiritual death. You know what I'm saying? You have different forms of death. Um, and not all of these deaths are taking place on the physical level. Sometimes these deaths take place in other forms and, you know, in other manifestations. Like I mentioned earlier, you know, spiritual death, mental death, a mental death, meaning you don't have the proper knowledge of yourself or you don't have the proper spiritual knowledge of yourself and how to enact that knowledge and make it live. You understand what I'm saying? So therefore, death has a couple of different connotations. But what I think most people are determining is, is what happens to the self when we die? Well, again, that goes back into the study of self. Why the study of self is so important, because I've shared with you before that you are more than your body. You are more than that. You understand? There are many aspects to your development and many pieces of who you are in order to know, in order to study. Therefore, death is not something that is that we're looking for. That's final. We're taught that it's final because organized religion has taught you that once you're dead, it's done. But they teach you about heaven and things of this nature. Well, we know and understand that heaven is a state of mind. We understand that paradise, you know, is a different ideology for me. It's a very different ideology because I know and understand that I am not the body, that I'm more than this. And that what we call death is basically a passing a station that we will all pass through. This is a station that man doesn't stay at. It's a pass through station. You understand? So what happens after one passes through the stage of death or what they call death or this physical manifestation in our Holy Quran circle seven, they calls it disintegration where the body goes back into the earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. So is the body. So the body returns. We hear these terms. The reality is this. The true being can't die because the true being is nothing more than light. When you break man down to his most minute physical, his most minute reality, his most minute self, it's the compound of protons, neutrons and electrons, which basically make up light, light beings. You understand, a.k.a. energy. So when this physical manifestation depletes itself, that does not mean that it's over. If you believe in a creator and you believe that you are a part of the creation, and you know that the creator is always in existence, therefore so are you. You understand what I mean? We don't die in the way in which we have been taught. That is a station that man passes through in order to move on to another reality, another plane of existence, or whatever that may be. But trust me, when you make that move, the reason we call this illusion down here is because you can't take these things with you when you move out of this form into another form. As Jesus taught you, the master principle called Jesus taught you in yonder kingdom, there is no gender. There is no gender in yonder kingdom, meaning there is no physical manifestation in yonder kingdom. That means that car, that BMW that you love so much and all of your clothes and your Dolce Gabbana and your Michael Kors and all of the stuff that you love so much that you spend so much money for, you can't take it with you. And those are the very things that will keep your soul stuck right here. That's the science of a ghost. See, a ghost doesn't even know that it is passed on or that it's departed because it loves the dunya so much. It loves the world so much that it is caught up in the material aspect. It doesn't even know that it's that it's gone in a sense. It has to be directed. You see what I mean? So we have to be very, very careful when we understand because, see, death has many definitions. But the main one that we're looking at is what happens after death. Well, something happens. You understand? And the ancestors have showed us and given us information 
of what happens and has taught us that energy never depletes itself. But Western ideology has taught you something else, that something that has a beginning has an end, in a sense, which is true. But man does not have a beginning. Man has always been because man is one with his creator. He comes from that particular reality, that divine manifestation is where he comes from. So man has always been. He's one with his creator. But the reality is, is that we can't die. There is no death. And a lot of times with the physical eyes, you know, the naught that comes from the ought, which is an illusion because in inside of the, the naught, the ought really exists, but the naught is the illusion. So when we're out in the world, we see somebody get shot or, or, or get hit by a car. It is not really death that scares individuals, I think. I believe that it is the way in which a person will depart this planet that causes people to worry about what death is or what it's not. But let's understand Death is a station that you temporarily pass through. You don't you don't hold that station, but it's a station that we'll all meet and we'll pass through that station. So with that being said, I just want to give a little insight about this ideology called death, because to a finite mind, death is just death. There is nothing else after that. But to those who know and understand and have studied and know the ancestors and, and, and the things that we have been taught. You know what I'm saying? In antiquity and so on and so forth and tracing the histories and blah, blah. And, there, and all, of that, all of those good things. We know that man does not die. You know what I mean? And we know that everything is done on the heart. You understand? So with that being said, I just want to share that a little bit because people ask me all the time. And what is spirit? Well, spirit is that which has always been. That's a part of you that you don't see. That's the real part of you. That's the true self. You understand? That's the self that has always been. You know what I mean? But when you took on a body that you chose to take on for yourself so that the soul could have experience by using this manifestation, then that goes into another, you know, into another draw. But the reality here is, is that um, just study, just understand that death is not finite. You know what I mean? It's infinite. And there's no such, really no such thing as what we call death in the way that we have been induced, because anything that dies, you know, or so-called, quote unquote, dies is still alive. You know, and those who die in a certain way will all, you know, live. So there is no such thing as death on that note, you know, and just want to share that. Peace.